God, this is looking at hearing that news. Um, if you're close to knowing you're playing the Nuggets, depending on your champs, and you're not going to have Booker out there with you in the offense. An important game in terms of people looking to see the other side. Well, yeah, we just got to continue playing our game. You know, guys get in and out all year. We just got to figure out ways to win, and we got to continue scoring at a, you know, at a high clip like like we have been. Figure out ways to play faster and uh, and defensively, just get after it a little bit more and get a little bit more scrappier, like we were. And and I think we'll figure out ways to find wins. I'm curious, looking at Bradley, we haven't seen him obviously since one out. Maybe this speaks maybe his progress like he looks clearly better than he did when he left. Yeah, I mean, I let him speak on that, but uh, you know, from the look of it, you know, he's looking definitely looking better, and uh, you know, hopefully, we have him out here on the court, you know, sooner than later. What challenges do does Jokic provide with with this team and just going up against him? With this yeah, you know, he's a guy who can do a little bit of everything. Um, you know, he can pass, he can score one on one, and. Uh, he, was a, he almost plays really perfect basketball. And uh, for us, we got to, we got to, you know, uh, we got to make it tough on him, tough on him, tough on him, you know, offensively, defensively. And, uh, you know, we got, we got ways to strategize against them. How do you make it tough on him? Make it tough, you know, being physical, not making easy catches. And, uh, you know, you just don't want him to have that combination of scoring and, and assisting, which, you, you know, that's what he does best. About the quarter mark of the season, and did you evaluate well it's early on we're just we're starting to hit our strides getting familiar with one another and uh you know the one the key is just having the chemistry and we're we're getting there and um uh, you know there's always going to be bumps and you know, roads uh down the road you know with health or whatnot but um where we're at you know i would just saying these last seven eight games have been encouraging what is that process like with you know all the new players on the, learning the mess and learning the Coexist. Well, yeah, things take time. You know, people forget new coaching staff, a lot of new players. So, um, and, you know, a lot of injuries. So, uh, this might be the worst that you've seen early on this season. So, we're just we're just looking forward to trying to get better and better, and uh, things should get better as the season goes along. You've talked about your only ball drives before. Nas is another guy that you can his head down into the past. I think he's been seeing from him recently as he's gotten more minutes. Yeah, he's been playing very well, knocking down the shots, getting to the getting to the rim, and uh, and also rebounding, which is that's definitely what we need. And uh, we just need him to continue doing that, and this it, and it helps our team a lot. You play with and against Yusuf for quite a few years. What what do you think about his game? What's it? Uh, I think he's. The guy that we need for this kind of team, you know, he moves moves the ball very well. He rebounds and uh, and he can score one on one when he feels like he needs and has to. And uh, so I think he fits very well for our team. Good, good, and you know, good player and good complement to our team. Is there a silver lining to sort of some of the injuries that you guys have had to navigate to this point in terms of opportunities for the guys? Um. I would say, you know, chemistry wise, you know, it's always good to have everybody together, but it also helps our team, you know, as far as being guys that might not play, you know, to, to get a chance to get that experience. So, uh, so it, it gives us a chance to, for everybody to step up more. And, uh, but, but, um, of course, chemistry wise, we want to figure out how we can piece it all together when everybody's there. As this thing is starting to come together, Bowen is getting a little bit more buzz, at least naturally, in terms of his system. What have you kind of gleaned from him? Yeah, we're just – it's all about learning the system. And, of course, we're going to get better along the way. And, you know, still early in the season. So, I expect to, to be even better and better. And uh, so, it's it's definitely a little different. But but uh, we get the grasp of it. Eric, how do you like the three guards to start the game? I mean, Grayson obviously going to come back. How do you like that? Well, you got a lot of guys that, you know, me and him have a lot of experience playing on, you know, uh, on winning teams in our past. So we kind of know, I think we compliment them well to the guys because we can shoot and try to make the right decisions, but also want those, you know, whether it's Book, Katie, or Brad, to make sure they always, um, you know, play well because we're always trying to make the, the right plays, but also find ways to be aggressive as well. What did you learn from the Toronto game? I mean, they have a lot of length, and you know, Denver has some length too. So what have you learned in adjusting to those types of teams with your line? Well, I mean, to me, we didn't we didn't get a chance to really, you know, kind of play our game, but you know, things happen. And uh but tonight we're here at home. It's it's different. We know what we're up against and uh 
we just got to figure out figure out ways to just play our game and uh, take away some of the things they do best. Here, so what do you think you've learned from Devin Booker this time at the start of the season? Anything you gleaned from him? Just well, you know, early on in his career, he's just been really a straight-up two guard, and uh, now he's being more of a playmaker, which I knew, you know, he would have career eyes in almost every category because because uh, you're going to be harder to guard when you're when you have the ball in your hands, playmaking a lot more, and because he already has the skill of you know shooting and creating his own shot, but when you're being a playmaker, you're almost going to be unstoppable to stop. When you when you hear people say that the Suns don't have a point guard, what do you what do you think about it? I mean, to me, if you just have a point guard, you know, you're just gonna have a guy that's in the middle of the floor, just standing there. But it'd be good uh, always because on every team, every some of your top players on the team, they're gonna have the ball a lot regardless. So you either want them to make a play or, or um, you know score or make it a play for someone else. So that's just what we need. And um, and because uh, other than them, you got to have shooters across the board. So yeah, that helps a lot too. So maybe okay, for sure. I mean, done well. <laughs> yes. All right. Thanks, All right. No problem.